Taurus. Hello, hello, my loves. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Taurus, you have the apocalypse and the mentor, the creator and the starborn. And I just like immediately in my mind, go back to your last read, which was just kind of like the minefield, but you were like not phased by this minefield. And yet I feel like there was an element of like, you watch something get blown up you were like, whoa, <laughs> you know, that was, that was a big blow up. Um, and, and yet I think that in spite of this really big blow up, there's still something that you want to take, something that you want to say, something that you want to do. And for whatever reason, your perspective isn't one of fear. It's one of strategy. Um, and I still feel that way. <laughs> Um, you know, because I, I, I feel like this person almost, it's almost like the, like the person that you watched blow up, um, like lit, lit the way, like they, they showed you the path because I feel like you would have taken, you would have taken, I don't, I guess I want to say the easy way, but I don't necessarily think that it would have been easy because I think we would have been blown up, <laughs> not literally, but figuratively in this story. Um, and so I feel like you, you take the, the brave direction, but I don't feel like you think that you're being very brave right now. I feel like you think you're just being smart. <laughs> no, I'm just not going to be a dumbass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because I'm going to create, you know, like what it is that I, I, I see, myself being with like whether that's in a professional realm or in a relationship you know I just feel like no I know that that's who I am and I know that I haven't you know like I don't I just feel like I know I haven't put that into practice well I don't know because I don't know very many Tauruses who are polyamorous to be quite frank but polyamory is a thing, you know, lots of people are polyamorous, support it. If that's what you want to do with your life and your love life, then there are people who are so much happier that way. And it makes so much more sense for them. Supported 110 would never be for me. Like never, never, ever. <laughs> um, I, I've got too much Leo and Scorpio in me to be <laughs> polyamorous in any way, shape or form. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where that one, I mean, I guess I, I do have a Taurus in my life who, or someone in my life who's polyamorous who may have Taurus in their charts, but I couldn't tell you. Um, but anyways, if that's the case, then I feel like it was the relationships that kept blowing up around you. And you were like, well, I'm going to be polyamorous. I'm going to be polyamorous because this, 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 and this. And it's like, well, I don't know, because I'm taken back to a, like a conversation in a car that I had with somebody one time and it was about polyamory. And if the question is, do I still, am I still a monogamous person? The answer is yes. <laughs> it's never been my thing. And the reason why it's never been my thing is because when you, when you up close and personal people in those types of relationships, in my experience, there's a lot of insecurity. There's a lot of, of jealousy and, and people feeling like they're not enough and then petty arguments ensue. And it just seems like you're inviting a lot of, you are, you're inviting extra, you know, extra dynamics into a relationship that probably already has a lot of dynamics of its own accord, you know? And, and so I don't know, I share that because I felt the need to, <laughs> I feel like that's very specific though. So like, sorry for the sidetrack, if that's not for you, um, you know, like, it, but it has kind of been in your, your reads of like this sense of almost like a love triangle. Um, and if it's not polyamory and it's just like a, like an everyday normal kind of love triangle, I feel like you witnessed somebody else fuck up royally and you were like, okay, but now I need to know like where, like how, are, how have things been adjusted? Like where are those trigger points so that I'm not blowing up, but I'm like, instead I'm getting over to where I want to be to create who it is that I know that I am or what it is that I know that I want. However that plays out for you, Taurus. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Experimentation. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's some Tauruses here and they're like, well, you know, like, I don't want my partner to feel like they're going to miss out on sex, sexual explorations and they want to be able to, you know, discover their sexuality and, and, you know, like, I don't want to prevent them from doing that. And I don't know, because I almost feel like you just like, you watched somebody do something that was like, that was, it didn't work out well in their favor. I feel like it worked out well in yours though, <laughs> somehow. Um, but there's an end. There's a lot of arguing. Um, you know, there's a need to walk away. And I think that when you walk away, you have such an awareness of like what went down and how it went down. And I think that you are able to, you know, do your Taurus style quick moves <laughs> to cut out any of the confusions or any of the, like clear the path. You're clearing the path. You're going, you know, in the direction that you want to go. Some of my Tauruses might be taking a trip, you know, maybe you're taking a trip to see somebody and you're just like, you know what, this needs to happen. I need to do this. Um, if it's not to see a person and it doesn't have anything to do with all the things that just came through, um, you know, and, and it's a, a work it, opportunity and you've been investing, 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 investing and feeling like you're not getting anywhere and just experiencing all of these ends. And for, for whatever reason, reason, somebody who, you know, took a different direction. They were like, listen, I get that you are going to do that. And I, there's nothing that I can do to prevent that because you are you and that is your journey. And I respect it and I honor it, but I will not go in that direction. I will not honor that life. I will not do those things. And like they go and I feel like there's almost a sense of like lessons being learned from that person, you know, like you, like you saw, I don't know, I, because I don't know who, who got blown up and who's mentoring you. I feel like there are a lot of different storylines coming through right now. I don't know. I just feel like the energy is very intense around me. I don't know if it's just the, the full moon. <clears throat> Or what but I can definitely tell you that I've been feeling overwhelmed with a, a plethora of <laughs> personalities <laughs> um, Taurus for some of my Tauruses it could be spiritual gifts right you've had you have spiritual gifts and you didn't want to use those spiritual gifts you didn't you didn't trust in that and you were just going to stick to what was tried and true for you and your solid reality and do what was best for you and yours and I think that somebody else maybe who you know who also embodies those gifts um you know said okay you you take that path and I'll take the one where I trust in my gifts I'll take the one where I walk in faith and you walk in logistics and you know, like maybe I'll see you on the other side. You know what I mean? But I just kind of feel like maybe you're seeing this person on the other side somehow. Because I do feel like there was a decision that was made. I don't know because I feel like whatever this decision is, whatever it is that you're walking away from, whatever field you're crossing or, you know, like sky you're flying through or however it plays out for you as an individual, <laughs> I feel like it somehow shifts something inside of you that I think gives you more like a, like a stronger sense of faith. Um, you know, because like logistically, I feel like somebody could say that's a minefield waiting to blow you up and I feel like but intuitively and with faith you know that you can walk through and not not glean a scratch and 
not only are going to use your faith, but you're also going to use your logic because you saw where that ground shifted. You know what tiles to look out for, you know? Um, it's still heavy in that strategy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the tower. I mean, it's the end, the end of the, I don't know, because I feel like there's almost a point of conflict, you know, between the concept of logic and faith. And there is a point of conflict between the concept of logic and faith <laughs> can confirm, <laughs> um, you know, but I think that that's the important of like the yin and the yang, right? The balance, the duality. And I mean, Taurus, you guys are, you know, like the, the moon is your ruler, you know, and I feel like your intuition is strong. And I think that you know that you need to part ways with one, with one direction and you need to go in another direction that allows for you to dive into a reality filled with faith. Earth signs have been on some faith vibes lately. Love it. <laughs> Support it. <laughs> um, Taurus. Okay. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. <sighs> I don't know because I just feel like the sweetest, like, because the storm is the idea of chaos and confusion and not knowing which way is up. But I, I just feel like this, no, the storm, the storm watered the ground. The storm ensured that the seed would have, you know, like the nourishment that it needed to grow. I don't know. I just feel like you are coming through with this like powerhouse energy that I am like loving. Um, and Taurus says, you guys are already such natural powerhouses, you know, like you're, there's just a presence and a strength to you that you embody. Um, and I love it. And I'm so proud to have a Taurus son. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's, I'm here for this energy. Um, because it just, it feels calm. It feels strategic and yet wrapped in faith. And I don't know what it is exactly that you're doing that you feel like you are strategically walking in faith, but whatever it is that you do, you're creating what it is that you really want to create. Um, I think sans a bag of woes that you had been mowing on for a while. <sighs> Taurus, I hope that this does resonate with you. If it does, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.